I'm Paul Rodelavich from Synergy Electrical Sales. Uh, yesterday I was out on a job site that had a combination of ceiling mounted motion sensors and wall mounted motion sensors. And it got me thinking, what's the best use, what's the best application for each type? So I'm going to go over the pros and cons of each, just so you get a feel for uh, how you might apply each to get the best motion sensing for your project. All right, so we're going to talk about the ceiling sensor first. So the, the pros of the ceiling sensor. Well, first, and the number one is aesthetics. Um, everyone wants the room to look nice. A white sensor on a white ceiling, that's the best way to have it installed. So really nobody sees it and the project looks good. So that's the number one reason that we would use that, um, that ceiling sensor. The other benefit of a ceiling sensor, when we mount it up high, the sensing technology sees down. And that's really helpful if you have an office with high cubicles um, or some type of, of smaller walls, things that we want to see over. So that's the benefit of the ceiling sensor, it sees down. Um, the third one is the install is easy up in the ceiling. Um, we just mount this on a tile and um, the wiring is already up there. It's very easy. If we need to move it from one location to another in the ceiling, we can just move the top. So it's a really easy install. So those are the benefits. All right, what are some of the drawbacks? Well, the number one drawback I see is that um, our heating and air conditioning system, those registers are on the ceiling as well. And if they put air out on the ceiling plane towards the sensor, and that can cause the sensor to never shut off or to turn on at the wrong time. So false triggers, we call it in the industry. That's, that's a risk of having it on the ceiling. Um, mount it four feet away from the, the register, you're gonna be good there, but airflow is still an issue. All right, the other, this, the other drawback is just the coverage for the sensor meaning um, they, don't, they don't cover that far. 400 or 600 square feet is what one of these sensors can do if we think about an op open office setting. Um, so we're gonna need a lot of sensors on the project. Just the way it is, but that's, that's one of the drawbacks of that sensor. And um, the last one is just the ceiling height in the room. Let's say you're in a, uh, an, maybe an atrium that has high ceilings, 20 feet or so. These aren't gonna cover that high height for fine motion, meaning someone sitting at a desk. They would cover, um, you know, in a warehouse or somebody walking through, the ceiling sensor would cover them. But again, for the fine motion, someone sitting at a desk, looking at a book, typing, the um, ceiling sensor must be mounted 12 feet or less to get that coverage. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the wall sensor, one that looks like this, would mount just on our wall. Um, I can even show it over there so you get a little more contrast. So that's a wall sensor. So what are the benefits of the wall sensor? Well, number one is it can see further out in the space. Just a reminder, this is our sensing lens um, for passive infrared. It looks out and looks for body heat versus background heat. So it has a wider sensor uh, sensing zone in that direction. So it's gonna see further. So this sensor would see 1500 feet of square feet for fine motion. So it sees a far area you're gonna need less sensors. So that's the, that's the biggest benefit. And the second one is ceiling height. So we're gonna mount this in the wall. Eight feet is the recommended mounting height. Um, if you had that, that 20 foot ceiling in an atrium, this is gonna cover you because we're mounting it at eight feet. So those are the two benefits, the pros that I see for those. Uh, aesthetics, um, I put ugly there. I hope I didn't offend somebody that made the sensor. But the idea is on the, on the wall, right, no one, most people aren't gonna to wanna to see that, right? In a, a very high-end space, it's not gonna look very nice. It's gonna get the job done, but it's not gonna look nice. Um, wiring. So there's two versions of these, wired and wireless. If you have the wired one, it's just something that the, the uh, electrical contractor has to coordinate another box up in a corner where they're not, really not used to mounting them. Um, if they need to move it, right, it's mounted in drywall, it becomes more problematic. So that's one of the drawbacks of it as well. The other one is obstructions. So yes, it does cover 1,500 square feet, but that's 1,500 square feet line of sight between the sensor and the person in the room. If there's a partition, something um, in the way, the coverage is gonna stop at that partition. So that's another one. And then um, the last one, it can see too far. Meaning if, if uh, let's say we had a, a really big open office space, I don't know, um, 200 feet long by 100 feet long. If I put one of these at one end, it might trigger the whole space. Meaning if I walked into one end, every light in that giant open office would come on. So in some cases, it just might see a little bit too far for your needs. 
All right, so I've shown you the, the pros and cons of both the wall sensor, like this, and our, and our ceiling sensor. So let's just summarize to help you choose what would be the best sensor for your particular application. So ceiling sensor, they're easy to install. On the ceiling, uh, everyone that's used to doing it, the wire's up thing, wire's already up in the ceiling. It's easy uh, to do, and it looks good. A white sensor on a white ceiling, no one's gonna see it. So that's really what's gonna be the benefit of the ceiling sensor. Um, negative is airflow. Just gotta plan accordingly, but that is one of the neg negatives. And then just the short coverage, you're gonna need more sensors. No problem with that, we do it all the time on projects, but just a way to, to kind of weigh it in your mind. So it's best for small to medium rooms where aesthetics matter, all right? We'll talk about the wall sensor. Uh, wall sensor, great coverage. So it's gonna shoot out far, you're gonna get great coverage with it. Uh, again, ugly, it just, it just doesn't look that nice on the wall. Some projects, that's totally fine. Others, you want the aesthetics. And it's best in large rooms without obstructions. That's gonna be the wall sensor. As always, reach out to me if you have any comments or questions. Thanks for watching.